So, you got confirmed to be a guest on the podcast. Yay, you! But now what do you do? I'm Lenore from the Brand Ambassador Select Podcast, and today I'm going to share some tips on how to prepare to be a great podcast guest. Not a good one, a great one. But remember, being on a podcast not only creates more publicity for you, but it's evergreen, so people can view or hear your interview 5, 10, 15 years from now. You can also click on the link below to our website, brandambassadorselect.com, and download a copy of How to Prep for the Podcast episode. It's all right there for you. Let's get started. Talking on a podcast can get you a little nervous. You know, you get sweaty, you get red, you know, you may have some like, it's, it's difficult, okay? And plus, getting your message across too is the most valuable thing that you need to do. Listen, this is you, this is your future, this is your career, and this is your brand that's online. So you gotta make it the best that you can do. Step number one, do your homework. This is so important. So here's a little bit of a tip. Pick two episodes uh, of the podcast or the show that you're gonna be on and listen to them. Listen back, listen a few times, so you can really get a feel for the guests and the show that you're going to be on. Learn more about the ideas, learn more about maybe the questions they may ask you and the vibe that they're really going for. You really have to get a feel for the type of podcast you're being interviewed on. Believe me, the host has done your research. I do so much research. I spend about like two, maybe three hours per guest. I'm going through YouTube. I'm going through Facebook. I'm going through Twitter. I'm just doing Google searches on page 10 to find out some more information about the guests. So we're doing the homework. You got to do the homework. Remember, your impression is very, very important. Step two, prepare at least two stories you can drop at any time. So the truth is that being a great podcast guest isn't really about answering all the questions. It's about telling your personal story and being able to really be you. So make sure you have two fun, inspiring stories to get ready just in case the host asks you an off the cuff type of question. Like, what inspired you to do what you're doing? That's definitely one that they'll use because I use that a hundred times. Or it could be as simple as what moment in your life really felt empowering. Anything related to the topic that you're discussing or the topic of your success is definitely something that the host may ask you. So always be prepared to ask, to answer those questions. Another example, who is your biggest influence in life? Yeah, that's actually really hard to answer if you don't actually know the answer off the top of your head. So definitely think about that one. And you do not, do not want to be caught off guard with like, you know, the little buzzes. Um, can't do that on live podcast. You can't do that at all. You have to know what you're talking about. Step three, do the requested podcast prep. So most podcast hosts ask their guests to complete a pre-show one sheet to provide information about themselves. So on the Brand Ambassador Select podcast, our one sheet always asks a fun fact about our guests or even like something very extraordinary that you've done. For me, I collect souvenir spoons. People think I'm weird, but you know what? It's definitely a topic of discussion when I tell people it. Consider the points you want to get across, your pitch or the offer you want to make to your audience to really connect. When you do say you have something to sell or you have a product that you would really like to promote or even your website, remember to send them to that. Send them to your website, send them to your Facebook page, send them to your Instagram page because it really gets them and the audience and the listeners get a feel of who you are. And obviously when you say your social media handles, spell them correctly, especially when you send them to people. If you're gonna learn anything, spell check your website, spell check your phone number, spell check the addresses, always, always check. And this will help tremendously in post-production too. So we can present all the best things and everything for you to shine you. Cause guess what? You're the guest. It's all about you to elevate your exposure. Okay, step four. Light, sound, and the perfect place. So nothing kills a podcast like bad audio, bad visual, especially a terrible background. Presentation is key, friends. Remember that. Presentation is key. Find a quiet place to do the recording. Uh, honestly, this is the truth. Like in a closet. Like if you're doing straight audio, you being in a closet is probably the best spot for you to do it at because you're in 
coats and everything in there really creates a powerful soundproof room. Again, only audio. You don't want to take a video camera in your closet in the middle of the dark, okay? That's definitely not the scene, and it's not the right light that you want to express yourself in. Just remember that. And especially about the lighting, do not go near a window. You're going to have all the lights come across your face. You're going to look, no, not going to look good. I suggest plain background, a bookcase, maybe even a nice painting that you have in the background. Always keep it plain and simple. Don't do it in your kitchen. Don't have a bagel next to you. You could have a mug, maybe promoting your company. That's actually pretty cool. Test it out. Call a friend. Say, hey, Jackie, can you like call me on Zoom so I can practice? Your friends are there to support you. Utilize them. If your friends don't want to, call your mom. She'll definitely do it for you. Trust me. Also, if you're using your cell phone, this is very important. Use a table tripod. Make sure that it is standing up straight, that you get the best light. You can attach a ring light to it. Easy enough. If you want to attach a microphone to your cell phone too, easy enough. They make it so easy for you these days. Like you, you can succeed. You just got to buy the right stuff. So with technology today, you can present yourself in the absolute best light. Step number five, appearance. Appearance is key. OMG, please, you have to look good. Some podcasts like the Brand Ambassador Select podcast are using video clips as promotional assets. So the podcast guests can always assume that they're going to be on camera unless told otherwise. Especially when you're calling in through Zoom or Skype, you definitely want to have, you know, step four, what we just talked about, sound, lighting, and the perfect place, as well as your appearance. Brush your hair, brush your teeth. These are like the simple things mom tells you before you leave for first grade. You gotta look good to impress all the kids. Here, you have to look good to impress potential clients, to, to impress potential revenue. You never, never know who's going to be watching this. So I can't express it enough that appearance is everything. The one thing that I've always learned that I definitely would like to share with you, solid colors are key. Don't do stripes. Don't do anything wacky. Keep it simple. Keep it simple and professional with your background, simple and professional, and you're gonna look great. You don't even need that much. A solid color button up, um, a blazer with a tank top underneath it. Just, you know, make sure you're not showing too much, girls, okay? That's definitely not professional at all. And remember, your visibility and the exposure is why you're appearing on the podcast. It's all about you. As much as you invest into it, as much as you're going to get out of that. Whew, that was a lot of information for one video. So remember to click that subscribe button so you can catch part two of how to be a good podcast guest. And remember, it's your way to shine. It's all about you and your appearance and your brand and all about your exposure. Yeah, subscribe. Part two coming soon. Bye.